Today on the channel, I'm going to show you how to play Best of Both Worlds by Van Halen. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to learn how to play Best of Both Worlds by Van Halen. This is a really cool song off 5150, which most of you probably already know. So uh, let's dig in. This song is in the key of A. Eddie has his guitar tuned down to almost E flat. It's just a few cents above E flat. So if you're going to play along, I am slightly above E flat. Okay, so this song is an A, and it starts off with uh, this classic chorus lick. Van Halen loved uh, to do really cool introductions just to get you ready, like this song is about to come in and, and kick butt. So let's, let's go over this introduction real quick. I'm going to play it for you, then I'm going to demonstrate how to play it uh, technically. <laughs> Okay, so that introduction, a lot of it is repetitive, but it's, uh, there's a little bit of tricky stuff going on there, so let's cover the details. First and foremost, this lick right here is similar to um, Highway to Hell, if you ever learned Highway to Hell by ACDC. <laughs> Or um, Cool and the Gang, uh, <laughs> Celebrate. It's, it's kind of a combination of those two songs. Sort of. So what, what I mean by that, though, is it's a D, a G, and an A. So if you can think of it that way first. Now this D isn't played like a regular D like this. With this D, or this F sharp, on the high E string. In fact, we're not even going to use this high string at all. Um, almost, just almost rarely in this entire song. Well, occasionally we'll play it, but we're going to take this F sharp, though. And we're going to play it right there with our middle finger. And we're going to play this part of the D chord with our, with our pinky and our ring finger, like this. And I'm not going to play this this open A string. I'm muting it with the with kind of the fat or the bottom side of my finger that's holding this F sharp down. So I'm only playing the the, the first five strings of the guitar. I'm not playing this high E. And I'm sliding up to a G. And I'm using these these fingers right here for my G chord. And then I'm playing the A chord with my pointer finger. So once again it goes. And so this next lick, he goes, he play, he's, he puts his pick between his his uh, middle finger, probably like this. I'm assuming that's what he does. After you hit that chord, like a magician, you stick that pick right there, and you're gonna do a little bit of a hybrid pick where you're you're picking it with these middle fingers. You're gonna you're gonna pluck the B, G, and D string on this A, and then go up to a G. Now this is you're probably wondering why this is a G chord, but it is. It's like if you took this. This big George Harrison style G chord or Beach Boys chord, and you took the middle voicings, it's right there. So we're gonna give it some percussiveness. 
and we roll back a little bit on our volume. Now, if you notice, I'm playing a Fender Strat on this, and you might be thinking, why are you playing a Strat on a Van Halen song? Well, Eddie played Best of Both Worlds on a Fender Stratocaster, and it sounds to me like he's got it in the second position with the middle and the bridge pickup together. So it's got that real nice... Eddie was experimenting a lot with 5150 and with his tone and his songwriting, so... I imagine he branched out a lot with, with guitar, especially during that era, and uh, you know, played a Strat on this. So anyway, so what I went, I went like this. Put the pick right here. I, I strum that, or I pluck that G chord twice. And what I go down to is a D, and that's an F sharp. Now check this out, there's an F sharp there. There's an F sharp there, and there's an F sharp there. And what he's doing, he's, he's doing voice leading. He's going from this G, and then he's playing this F sharp, and he's playing this D chord with his pointer finger and his middle finger, right like this. Back to an A. And you can leave this, this open A. Uh, chiming out too because that creates a pedal tone. And he puts kind of a little bit of a syncopated triplet. wondering what the heck is that that weird sounding chord he does but what he's doing there is he's, he's he's playing an E with his middle finger and he's taking he's playing is just like if he was gonna do an A chord he's playing all open strings except for the low E and he's playing this like that so when he ends that lick he puts it there Pick slide. All right. So the very turnaround right there, that, that little tricky thing is, uh, is really cool. What he's taking is, is his middle finger. He's going on the low A string, the second to third fret, which is a B to a C. And he's playing a D chord. And I'm playing that D chord with my pointer finger and my middle finger with an open D because it's easier to play it because I'm sliding up with this note then I go I'm going open A G back to an A so let me show you that so let me play a little bit before that Cool, so there's that whole introduction. Now, during the verse, it's very similar to the... But it's, it's broken up a little bit more. So what Eddie does is he plays this A major chord. This A major chord is, he plays it all the way up to this C sharp on the B string. He goes... So what I'm going to do is I'm going to strum it with my thumb, and I'm picking this G chord, and then this, this same D chord with the F sharp, back to an A. So I'm going one more time, 
and then he goes what I'm doing there is I'm kind of raking a rake is when you keep your finger your um, palm of your hand on the string and you play a chord underneath it so his little turnaround is just in slow motion it sounds like <laughs> So, from the beginning. And then the very end of that goes. It's kind of like when he goes. He goes. We're, we're going up to the C sharp this time instead of that C. So, the reason that works so cool is that's an A chord that he's on, right? We're in A major. The C sharp makes it A major. That's the major third, and that's the C sharp right there. So he's going. So what I'm doing is I'm going second fret to fourth on the A string, up to an A. go that's a G suspended chord it's kind of like think of hard day's night but what we're gonna do is we're gonna play the A D and G string with these fingers on the fifth fret and then we're gonna resolve it because this is just this middle part of this G chord going then A so then he goes back to and then there's the pre-chorus and this is this is really interesting Eddie did some really cool writing on this he, he goes to an F and then to an E sustain, to an E. So after it goes, and that's where Sammy says something, then reached out and touched me is, now I know, is a B, and I play it with a high B and E strings open. I just think that sounds cool. All I want, or all I know, and all I want, D to E, A. So let's take it from the. And I played my A chord right there. You can play an A like, um, there's A. So if you take your D major shape and put it up here, that's an A. So I'm taking this A. So if you're playing an E chord, you can go, and that's an, that's an A. So from that very beginning of that uh, pre-chorus, all the way through that uh, chorus part that we just talked about. So I'm going to take this from the very beginning and I'm going to play all the way through it so you can hear it and then we'll talk about the guitar solo. <laughs> Thank you. 
So that should give you the idea right there. So let's talk about the guitar solo. When they go into the guitar solo, there's the, the rhythm part, the chords. They change keys. Eddie goes up to B minor. And uh, so what we're going to do is E and a B power chord. So that's the first part of the solo. And then he goes to a C to a G. Same thing. Then a D to an A. So from the beginning of that chorus, or the uh, guitar solo. And this, this part, he doesn't do it all the way through. He does something a little bit different. Watch this. So halfway through, he goes. He goes D to E, which brings them back to A, which is really good songwriting on Eddie's behalf because he changes keys, but he's got to get back to this this A somehow, right? So he he modulates up to this this high E, which is the five of A. Which makes it sound like it's going back to all right so for this guitar solo this guitar solo is really bluesy in and infused with some of the classic eddie isms that we love right so i'm going to do my best to explain and perform some of these uh it, it sounds different because i can't execute it exactly like Eddie does because I think the solo was punched in in certain areas and only Eddie is Eddie but I encourage you to record that rhythm part and practice the solo over it and if you play it like this you'll be surprised how um, really really close it actually sounds to what he's doing and I've, I've listened to this solo over and over and over again for the last few days and uh, tried to zero in on everything so so here we go um, so <laughs> So if we're, we're in B minor pentatonic, right? So I'm going to give you a little bit of why behind the what on this. So in, in B minor pentatonic, the two positions that most people know are the... And the reason I'm showing you this is so that you can it'll help you remember the solo. And then the next position, a lot of guys go up, then go. And we all know, and a lot of us know the. So the reason I'm showing you that is that he goes. So he's taking this, this little part of the pentatonic lick. But he's going. So he's sliding up. His rhythm's a little bit different on that second one. And then he's going to go. So what I did there is I'm on the on the B string and I'm up here on the 17th fret and I'm going to bend it down. I'm going to add a little bit more volume so I can get more gain on this. So from the beginning of that solo and then you go. So what I did on that was a lot of times that he does this this lick. He does an interruption. He does it everywhere where he goes. So 
So he's, he's taking this, this B minor pentatonic, and he's, he's playing this open B string, and it works great because... So I go... Okay, so... And then he takes this, if you remember that first lick goes, well, what he's going to do here is go. So it's almost like he's, he's doing the same lick, but now he's putting his Van Halen uh, uh, trickery at work. So he's, he's taking this, instead of sliding up to the 11th, he's going to bend it. And I use my edge of my pick on this one just because it it, it really makes it sound clearer. But uh, just to demonstrate it like Eddie would do it, I'll play it with my finger. So what I did there is I went, I bend that up to the to this eleventh fret, but I'm I'm staying here on the ninth. Tap on the twelfth. Let go. Tap on the 14th. One more time. I kind of start bending it down, releasing that note, but then I come back up and hit it one more time. Then he goes... And then it sounds like he's going, he's going. Then go, then go. And we're going to bend back up like that. And that's the part of the solo where he's on the... They're on the D chord that I showed you in the solo. So one more time, he goes. Like that. And then he goes up one fret. When he modulates. He's on that E, so that's that's a really tricky part of the song because you're going you're in B minor, right? Okay, so we do that, and then he's going to slide up half a fret, and he's going to bend it up one step. This G string to this G. That's how that solo ends. And he slides down, rolls back. Okay, so we're going to take that solo one more time. So there you go. And the song basically just uh, repeats the verse and the chorus there, or the, the chorus, and then towards the very end, it's just him and him and Al uh, just jamming. totally tell this was the era in which um, Eddie wrote 316 because it's 
very similar. You can, you can see that he was in that writing mode and that vibe with his single coil, the clean sound, the chorus. Even though that didn't show up later until For Unlawful Carnal Knowledge, you can see seeds to where this stuff started and where it started to grow and where it evolved. Well, there you go. That's Best of Both Worlds. I hope you liked this video. I certainly hope it was helpful and you enjoyed it. If you did, please comment below, subscribe to my channel, and uh, hit the notification bell, all that good stuff. Until next time, peace out. <laughs>